Okay, now the last one is the Freedom Rune, but now that we've got some cash, let's do a couple of extra things. First off, we're going to get even more cash. In the official strategy guide, it tells of a special method of getting tons of credits called Techonomics. And we've got plenty of credits right now to get things started because you gotta have money to make money. We're gonna go to Kurong first. Um, then we need to go through Omi to Nelson. <laughs> awesome. Different music and everything, I love it. Alright. Got those chill licks going on. So. Here, you can buy gold ingots for 500 apiece. You want to have as many as you can afford, but at least 15. So I'm going to start with 15. It's the only pleasure in my life. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the uh, skeleton dance. It's um, it's fascinating. This damn pinball machine's cheating me. I, I, I know the feeling. I have so many problems with real pinball machines. Okay. Now we take all those gold ingots and head back to Kurong. Do do. So now we go to the exchange shop here. We're going to say sell gold. And you can see that right now you can sell it for 800. But there's a trick to this. We go all the way down. And then all the way back up again. Wait, nope, that's not how it works. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to figure this out again. Okay. Oh. So the first, uh, the first time we just sell down to 520. So we've still made a crap ton of money. I mean, we've got, what is that, eight gold ingots left? Yeah, eight gold ingots left, but 7,000 credits. 
so let's head back. Back to Nelson and buy as many gold ingots as we can again. Yep. All right. Fortunately. The only place that you need to pay to uh, travel from is junk. And we're not going there. And the funny thing about that is if you don't have the 100 credits to fly out of junk, she'll just be like, oh, fine. Okay. Sell gold. Okay. So now we're down to zero, but we still have nine left. So you just keep going down to, to zero gold ingots, and then start walking it back up. Notice it's walking up right away. So we can go all the way back up to 22, and start selling them for even more. Whoops. Ah, I messed that up. Okay, there we go. So let's go back down again, go back up, go down to 520. There we go. So now we've got 6609, which is 500 less than before. We've got five more gold ingots. So now the limitation on this is that if you try to make any more than 50,000 credits at any one time using this trick, you lose all your gold ingots. So don't get too greedy. If you stop at like 20 or 25,000, you'll be fine. I don't think there's anything that you can purchase that's more than 10,000. And as long as you keep, you know, say, 15 gold ingots on hand, you'll be able to do this whenever you need to. See, now we're up to 26. Last time we were only able to get up to 22. So we're going to do this a little bit more. I don't want to, you know, get too boring. But I did want to show this off. Whoops. Back to Kurong. And back to the money changer. Yep, sorry dude, you have no idea how much I'm fleecing you here. Now it's up to 1040 to start out with. Go back down to 520. Got 13 gold ingots, but now we've got over 10,000 credits. So there you have it. That's Taconomics. <laughs>